Two, Angel Bank, Eamon Murphy. Three, Bajan Sunshine, John Jaranil. Four, Brittany Boy, Tom Taff. Six, Cantagat, Simon Sherwood. Seven, Crimson Ember, Stuart Shilston. Eight, Gala's Image, Hugh Davis. Nine, Gold Spun, Peter Scudamore. Eleven, King's College Boy, John White. Twelve, Christensen, Mike Williams. Thirteen, Midnight Count, backed uh, to win 150,000 with uh, Ladbrook this, Ladbrokes this morning and uh, written by Richard Rowe. Fourteen is New Law, written by... Gareth Charles Jones, 15 Prince's Drive, written by Colin Evans, 16 Rising Forest, Mark Dwar, 17 Sabandoulois, Colin Brown, 18 The Liquidator, Graham McCourt, 19 is Melly, written by Judy Blakeney, 20 Rivaro, Kevin O'Brien, and 21 Sheer Gold, uh, written by Graham Bradley. Premier long distance hurdle at Haydock last month. Written for the first time by Graham Bradley. Christensen in second, Moon Mariner battling on in third, Beige and Sunshine, then the man himself, and sixth is Oceanus, and these six are clear. As Shergo comes down to the last and quickens again. Shergo clear as she comes to the last, and Graham Bradley over it, Shergo through it. Six, eight lengths clear from Christensen in second, the man himself is third. Very tired horses behind Beige and Sunshine. And behind Beach and Sunshine is Moon Marinerwood on the run in it. Sheer goes riding away. This is the ground. This is the trip she wants. And Graham Bradley struck up a tremendous partnership with her. Sheer goes battling on from Christensen in second. In third is the man himself. 50 yards to run. Sheer Gold comes home on her own. Sheer Gold wins it easily. Christensen second. Um. And Brad, of course, is the man on top once again today. Well, Midnight Count, perhaps the one to beat. Uh, here's news of betting before we join Richard Pittman. Well, Rivaro is the most favoured horse at the moment, but uh, there's a little cooling off there. It opened at uh, five to two, actually, and is now seven to two. 130 up there on the board. It's just gone seven to two. Rivaro, sheer gold, and midnight uh, count is uh, nine to two. Saban de Loire, seven to one. Gala's image, ten to one. On twelve to one, the two of them, the Liquidator and Crimson Embers, King's College Boy and Christensen, the sixteens, Bajan Sunshine has leapt from 14 to 1 to 20 to 1, and it's uh, 25 to 1 bar. Here's the mare, the grey mare, Sheer Gold, who they thought early in the season she might go for the champion hurdle, you know, but when put over the minimum distance after original run, it looked as if she was just a stare. Well, she's got her trip today, even if she'd like it slightly softer. Trained by Toby Balding, a classy mare, this one, Sheer Gold. And Gala's image. Now coming in now, and that's it, that away. Gold spun right up with the lead and says the liquidator in Christensen and King's College boy and Cadigat towards the left of the picture with Rivaro, but it's the liquidator as Ryder Graham McCord has lost his cap. Over on the far side, the striped sleeves, just going to jump it in the lead over on the far side. On the near side, Cadigat between horses, King's College boy with the breast girth and the white face of Rivaro, Brittany boy and Bajan Sunshine. Just behind the lead, Sabandoulois and Crimson Embers and Christensen, and then out of the gloom and Prince's Drive. The back marker at the moment is Rising Forest and Liquidate. The Liquidator is making it from Brittany Boy in second. King's College Boy on the inside of Cadigat, Bajan Sunshine on the outer. Rivaro comes next on the inside of Rivaro is Crimson Embers, then Sabandoulois and out of the gloom. Gold spun, Prince's Drive, Christensen behind them and then Melly behind. Melly is sheer gold. Behind them, Newlar and Gala's image and behind then comes Angel Bank. Midnight Count and Last Rising Forest and coming down to the second flight. And the liquidator being taken on now by Brittany Boy. Brittany Boy on the outside lands with the liquidator. Very close then is Beige and Sunshine, King's College Boy on the inner, towards the outer, Rivaro with Crimson Embers. Gold Spuns on the inner, with, uh, as usual, Peter Scudamore going the shortest way. Coming down to the third of the 13 flights in all, Brittany Boy and the Liquidator from Bajan Sunshine, Rivaro, the little Irish mare over on the outside. 
Just in behind them, King's College boy and Cadigat and Crimson Embers and Gold Spun and Sabandud Warren out of the gloom and Melly. Back marker now is Angel Bank. Midnight count is one from the rear as they come to the next. The liquidator from Brittany Boy over the fourth and Bajan Sunshine. Cadigat and King's College boy and Crimson Embers on the inner. Racing up to the top of the hill for the first time. The liquidator and Brittany Boy with a gap with a an advantage now of about six lengths to seven lengths over Bajan Sunshine. A gap then to Cadigat and King's College. Boy and Rivaro on the outside and Crimson Embers just in behind him and Gold Spun still on the inner being tracked by Christensen and out of the gloom as they come down to the next. Number five, the liquidator from Brittany Boy. The liquidator on the inside, Brittany Boy. Very little between the two. Bajan Sunshine next, then Cadigat and King's College, Boy and Rivaro and Sabandudwa and Crimson Embers and Gold Spun still in the inner being tracked by Christensen as they come to the sixth flight. Soon be passing the stands on the first circuit. The liquidator from Brittany Boy, Beige and Sunshine, Cadigat and Rivaro and Sabandudwa. Sheer Gold's got closer. King's College, Boy on the inner. Crimson Embers is next being tracked by Gold Spun. Coming down to the flight that will be the last next time round. And it's still the liquidator from Brittany Boy. Seventh flight, this. Bajan Sunshine going to jump it third. Rivaro next, and then Sabandulwar and Cadigat. And behind them, King's College Boy and Gold Spun. Midnight Count making ground towards the outside with Sheer Gold. Also, the back marker, Rising Forest, racing uphill. The liquidator from Brittany Boy. About Ten lengths advantage now. These two over Bajan Sunshine, Rivaro and Sabandulwa. Then closely grouped behind them. Midnight Count, Crimson Embers, Prince's Drive on the inner. King's College Boy on the outer Angel Bank. Then comes Gala's Image and New Lauren. Behind them, Gold Spun. And then Melly, then Christensen. Cadigat has uh, lost a lot of ground. And they're coming down to the eighth. Brittany Boy and the liquidator clear of Sabandulwa, Rivaro. Bajan Sunshine has lost a little bound. Crimson Embers is making ground. New law towards the outside. Then comes King's College Boy. Five left to jump. And these two pace setters still with quite a commanding advantage. Brittany Boy and the liquidator as they come down to the next flight. Number nine, Brittany Boy in the liquidator. Rivaro, Sabandulwa on the outside. Crimson Embers very close. And these five being chased by Nula, Midnight Count. Then King's College Boy, then out of the gloom. Then Rising Forest making a little bit of ground. Coming to the tenth, the liquidator on the inside of Brittany Boy. Now Rivaro getting much closer, so Sabandulwa. So is Crimson Embers, a gap then to King's College boy as they race to the top of the hill the liquidator with three left to jump in the lead from Brittany boy Sabandulwa Rivaro under pressure on the inside Crimson Embers is next and then quite a long gap to King's College boy out of the gloom and rising forest who's still making ground coming down to the next now this is the third last flight still the liquidator being chased by that game little mare Rivaro, Sabandulwa on the outside, Crimson Embers coming there, Brittany Boy trying to hold his place, and Rising Forest still making ground. The liquidator, though, from Crimson Embers, Rivaro under extreme pressure. Rising Forest still making ground on the far side. This is the second last flight now. The liquidator from Crimson Embers and Rising Forest who jumps it third. Then comes Rivaro, then Sheer Gold making ground towards the outside, out of the gloom, and then Brittany Boy racing to the final flight now. Crimson Embers has surged clear. And it's Crimson Embers now from Sheer Gold Rising Forest as they come to the final flight. Crimson Embers is going to land in the lead, makes a hash of it. Sheer Gold jumps in second and falls. Hampers Rivaro racing into the closing stages. Crimson Embers has gone well clear. Being chased by Rivaro and out of the gloom. And then comes Rising Forest as they race to the line. Crimson Embers wins it this time strictly on merit as they come to the line crimson embers is the winner then comes rivaro in second third was out of the gloom fourth rising forest then Brittany boy against the green rather third then Brittany boy and 
liquidator and looking right back to the rear of the field it was uh, Bajan Sunshine and so the result first number seven Crimson Embers second number 20 Rivaro third number one against the grain and fourth number 16 Rising Forest so Crimson Embers beaten a neck last year really uh, comes good this time in emphatic style with the unfortunate sheer gold on the floor at the last but uh, happily up on her feet as was her rider so it'd been a terrific pace right from the start and the liquidator had set it and stayed there coming down the hill he'd still been there on the inside but uh, the eventual winner, Crimson Embers, had come smoothly through to join. Saban Dulois had looked very dangerous coming down the hill, but then had disappeared. I hope that he's sound enough. Remember, he's had a lot of problems. But as they turn for home, the warning signs are going out there on the liquidator as Crimson Embers goes past, and very swiftly indeed. A whole host of horses coming behind, including on the outside there, Sheer Gold the mare, who's come from a very long way back. Rivaro, bang in touch, just weakening there, is uh, Brittany Boy, who'd been up making the lead for a long time. And uh, here you can see Crimson Embers really makes a hash of it, lands on all fours, drops his backside, but watch the second horse now, the mare. She puts in a very bold jump at the last, but str struggles along there for a stride or two, and I'm afraid pays the penalty. Interferes with Rivaro, and uh, that causes all sorts of scrimmaging. But meanwhile, Stuart Shilston goes for home. This one has already won the race back in 1982 with Stuart on board, and was so unlucky not to have won it last year. And uh, we all thought in the press room that the decision was wrong when Rose Ravine kept the race, and it would have been a marvellous thing for this horse to have won three times in this particular race. But anyway, Pam Smart, I'm sure will not mind because she owned Rose Ravine last year. But here again, this horse strides away, and a lot of people will be very, very pleased for Foot Warwin, Crimson Embers, the 12th.